I was asked about a spiral bi basket weave um, after I had done um, that one. So um, I thought the easiest to explain this would be to put it on a video. So here we go. First of all, I do a circle. Now, the circle I determined by trial and error. It cannot be too small, it cannot be too large. It really depends on the size of the basket weave tool that you're using. So in this case, this is a, an X500 Craft Tool USA. Okay, X500, there we go. So I use Chan Gear's method on this one, and this is what gives the spiral instead of just a circular basket weave. Um, so here we go, and I'll show you the first impression in detail. But the idea is to have your stamp diagonally across that line that was drawn. So there we go. You can see the line I scribed and how the, the tool sits um, like that. Now in the Chan Gear method, you do your first row from left to right. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, and I'm using a fairly thin leather here. So I have got a piece of um, bag stiffener from Tandy underneath uh, that just gives that bit of thickness to the whole thing is uh, you can use thin leather underneath anything that just has a slight give to it okay so here we go so whereas usually I overlap the legs of the basket weave quite a bit in this case I do not do that I just touch those corners to each other and I'll show you. So there's the second impression. So they touch each other diagonally and the opposite leg. Um, so here, if you can look at that. So I put down that one on the corner to touch the previous stamp. And then I have to swing this guy around in such a way that it the diagonally opposite end is on the line. Close to it. There we go. So, there we go. Tell you a little bit while I'm doing this, a little bit about the leather I'm working on. Um, it is one of the big regrets of my leather working life. Um, this leather came from Brazil, pre dyed, veg tan pre dyed. It was this tan color and then also a maroon and a dark brown. And it has a kind of a brushed feeling or sanded feeling or whatever you want to call it not slinky smooth on top and offhand it didn't look like much but man when you tool it it is so nice it burnishes as you can see like a charm um, and I'm busy using up the last remnants of the hide or two that I bought. If I knew at the time what I know today, I would have bought all these hides that I could possibly lay my hand on or take loans out for.
and there the first circle is done right and I was lucky my spacing worked out by chance that was not pre-planned there we go now putting to turn gear your next row of, of stamps you do from right to left and you start the first one by making a mark right there I'll show that to you to see what the spacing should be of the next step so that this uh, tool is now going to be put on see how close I can get between that leg and that mark right there so that's how my spacing works once that impression is there the rest will just follow from that one because then the, the impression gives the spacing so there we go now you just fit this one in between those and you'll see that um, obviously with normal basket weave the um, stamp stamps are all straight in this case they lie in a circle so it feels like you're gonna have a very unneat type deal but it kind of disappears in the spiral patterning so you'll only have a problem with it if you're a perfectionist then you're gonna have sleepless nights or I believe OCD or something like that this method will not work for you okay but that stuff that is it's much easier not to be a perfectionist much much easier okay and <clears throat> So here goes the last one and there's my two rows done um, I found you can possibly go more but it will now get too short it does not fit in as nice um, it doesn't work to fit another row either on in or outside so that is where I go with this um, I did find a very very uh, nice uh, inside border here um, that I'll show you just found that by chance yesterday in fooling around with it um, and I do this with what I call number one secret tool uh, it's just a F910 um, beveler, tipped beveler with the lines. So what I do with this, I space it with a tip going on the end of the basket weave, the little line there. And its wing goes just right next to in the in the direction of the of the circle and you simply pull them down like that And there the whole circle is done, inside and outside. And um, now I should sing, uh, is it the Beatles song? Here comes the sun. Very nice. On the outside, I simply choose 
a very small camo tool and um, uh, so that I can do the outside and I'll show that to you so this one is uh, 772 <clears throat> Looks like that. And so, but that might have two large rays. Now, let me choose a smaller one. Yep, this one will be better. I don't want to overstamp too much of the basket we've already. So, This one goes just on the outside of the circle and it's just so that you don't have that raw edge of the basket weave at all. And if those are too sh close to each other, I just do a little nippy thing there on both sides. There we go. Um, all done. And it's um, very effective. It really looks very nice from a distance. Um, so I'm going to switch off, pause this video, um, do one or two more decorations, and then I'll show you what it finally looks like. Okay, and she's all done. Just added a little bit of rope edge there around the edges. There you go. And um, there it is. Nice to have the sun in the workshop here in Minnesota. But it does stuff around a bit with the camera. But there you can see. Now it's just for cutting out and putting some dressing on. Um, if you have any questions, write them down underneath, ask, I'll see what I can answer. Thank you.